guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley, if you are new. And if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. Um, so essentially, I'm coming in because I've been watching a lot of the girlies do videos on their favorite fashion purchases of 2023. So of course, I was inspired um, to share my favorite purchases with you guys as well. Now, I will say that I was a little bit more strategic, even that much more than I normally am because I'm somebody who tries my best not to do a lot of impulse shopping. I like to stick to like um, my wish list. I typically have like an archive wish list. Yeah, I know if you know, if you're not new to this channel, then you know I love archive fashions. So I try to keep like an archive wish list, just kind of things that I've wanted for like several years that I just was either um, unable to buy because of lim uh, because it was in limited quality and or I just couldn't afford it at that time. So I try to keep, like I said, a running list of archive pieces that I always want. Also like uh, kind of like classic items, jewelry. I have like four or five different kind of wish lists. So I try to stick to those um, items on those lists without doing a lot of impulse buying. And I will say that I was a little, I was kind of successful. I gotta kind of pat myself on the back for um, kind of sticking to that in the year 2023. So I do have some items that I wanna share with you guys that I picked up that were my favorites of the year. Not a ton of stuff, so I'm not going to keep you guys for long, but I definitely have some things that I love that I want to share with you. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Now, the first item that I just absolutely love, or the first, I would say, it's kind of like, it's not really fashion, it's more so like jewelry um, that I got in the year 2023. And that is none other than my, the rings that I wear. These are the only rings that I wear, actually. Um, so last year on my birthday, I'm a Capricorn. I'm almost coming up on a year having this, this, well, there's two rings here. I'll explain. Um, but I'm almost coming up on a year of having the first item that I'm going to talk to you guys about. And that is this gold, yellow gold Cartier Love Ring. Now, last year on my birthday, my birthday is January 16th. So like I said, I'm coming up on my, almost a year of having this this ring, so happy anniversary, girl. <laughs> but um, I picked this up for my birthday last year. Again, this is the Cartier Love Ring. This is the regular size, which is kind of like the medium size, but it's also kind of the original size. They have a thinner uh, wedding band and they have one that's way thicker that I would absolutely love. But this is the one that I've always wanted. I've probably have wanted this ring for well over 10 years. Finally broke down and got it. Wish I would have got it years ago because if you, uh, as you know, Cartier has probably one or two price, price increases annually. So had I got it years ago, definitely would have saved a little bit more money. But I finally bit the bullet last year on my birthday. It actually went in on my birthday. So my uh, certificate from Cartier for this ring has my actual birthday on it, which I think is really cool. But anyway, so I originally picked this up last year and I absolutely love it. Um, I couldn't recommend it uh, more. Like it's I highly recommended if you have Cartier uh, pieces, well, specifically the love ring on your wish list, I definitely recommend purchasing it. Now, a lot of people say, oh, it scratches up. They have like, you know, an uh, issue with scratching. Um, I would agree with you, but you, my, my ring is definitely scratched up, but I think it adds character and it's very, it's, I don't even really notice it, um, but it's unavoidable. It's absolutely unavoidable. It's 18 karat gold. It's very soft, so it's going to scratch up. But anyway, so this is definitely my favorite purchase of 2023. And then the ring that I have, so I should have just showed it to y'all individually. Uh, so that's just the love ring by itself. Now, also in addition to that, I have the, I have this diamond love band. This is not a love band, excuse me. I have this diamond wedding band that I picked up from Costco. I was inspired to get a diamond band to put on top of my love ring, just based off of seeing a lot of the girlies uh, with that vibe and I loved it. So um, I got this in January. I didn't get this diamond band until I wanna say like May. Um, it took me a while to find the perfect one. I'm somebody who absolutely has to research and ensure that I'm one, getting the absolute best quality, but also two, getting the absolute best price. Just a part of my personality. And that inspired, because of that search and those criteria, 
Um, I got a Costco membership. Never had a Costco membership, but I found out through my diamond researching that Costco has like the best diamonds from a quality standpoint, from a clarity color cut standpoint, in addition to that, from a pricing standpoint, because they sell at wholesale prices. So because of that, I got a Costco membership just so I can purchase a diamond band from them. Um, so this is, I should show you guys these individually. So this is a one carat diamond band. It's in platinum and it's a BBS two. And I want to say it's an H color diamond. Uh, it's really beautiful. And initially I was going to get, um, I wasn't going to get an eternity man. I was just going to get like the diamonds on the front, but because the Cartier, uh, love ring has the motif going all the way around the finger, I'm glad that I ended up getting an eternity band with the diamonds all around it. But anyway, I'm somebody who wants to get more into fine jewelry. I've always loved jewelry. And I feel like because you never, I, like literally I never take these off. Like if I, I wear these to the gym, like I never take these off unless I'm putting lotion on my hand or something like that. But I wear these every day and I have my, as far as cost per wear, been, <laughs> I've been achieved that. So I definitely recommend um, investing in fine jewelry because the cost per wear is that much but it's that much greater than like regular fashion, um, if you will. But yeah, so these are my absolute favorite purchase of 2020. So I guess we'll stay on in the category, moving right along, I should say first, but let's stay in the category of jewelry. And the next item is actually gonna be a piece of fashion jewelry uh, slash costume jewelry, if you will. A few months ago, I'm sure you guys already know that I went to Paris because I have made that a part of my personality at this point. Uh, so hopefully y'all are not tired of hearing about it. But of course, late September, I went to Paris uh, for the first time, amazing trip, blah, blah, blah. I'll link the, the blogs down below if you'd like to watch as well as my haul. Um, but when I was over there, again, I had a list of things. It was like eight different items that I wanted to pick up. I was able to purchase four of the eight items one of those being one of these purchases that um, I'm kind of surprised. I knew I wanted these. And let me go ahead and just show you. These are the Fendi logo earrings. And these are the two-tone Fendi logo earrings, which I love. Of course, one is in the yellow gold tone. And then one is in like palladium or silver tone or and or white gold. Love these hoop earrings. Now, I wanted these for quite some time. It was like I wanted these or I wanted the Louis Vuitton logo LV earrings that everybody has, kind of still want those. But um, I decided to go with these instead of the Louis earrings when I was over there. Got them for a really good price because of course I paid European prices and I also got a VAT refund. So I definitely saved a significant amount purchasing these in Europe. However, I just love these earrings. Out of all the pieces that, well, I only got like four main pieces, but these I have worn so much. I've probably worn these earrings at least I would say within the past three months, five or six times. And for me, that's a lot because I don't wear earrings every day because I don't have the need to. But anyway, these are definitely a surprise favorite purchase of 2023. If you are, they're lightweight, um, like I said, very fashionable. They're interchangeable. You can wear them with yellow gold and or white gold and or silver, so I love their versatility as well, but uh, I just did, I knew I loved them, but I didn't know I was gonna love them as much as I did. So these are certainly a, 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 one of my favorite purchases, purchases of 2023. And if you are considering them, I highly recommend them, you won't regret it. So the next item that I have to share with you guys that was one of my favorite 2023 luxury purchases is technically a 2022 luxury purchase, but I actually got this in like November of 2022. So because it was so close to 2023 and I killed this item, like literally damn near wore it every single day, I have to include it as a part of my 2023 luxury purchase uh, favorites. And that is none other than my Louis Vuitton. This is the Monogram Eclipse Reverse Monogram Eclipse. Voyage MM. So essentially it's the toiletry pouch, but it's like the boy version. First, so you have your traditional monogram eclipse on the sides, and then you also remove this. Um, and then of course you have it in reverse on the front as well as the back. Now, over the past couple of years, for whatever reason, I have become 
a very strong advocate for a crossbody bag. Now, as you know, this is a pouch. This is technically like a travel accessory. However, I did add this gunmetal chain because the hardware on here is like gunmetal. It's not silver. So I did add this gold. You know how we was all converting our toiletry pouch 26s a couple of years ago to crossbodies? Um, so of course you can do that by just adding one of those organizers. As you can see, this is how much I wear. I have my, this is, I'm carrying this right now. Like, this is essentially my everyday bag, <laughs> my throw on and let's go bag. So of course you just add, just added this um, organizer on the inside from Amazon and then this chain from Amazon. So because of that, I was able to make this pouch or this travel accessory convert into a crossbody. Like y'all, I kill this. It's almost embarrassing <laughs> because I wear this bag so often. It's so comfy. It's just, it goes with everything. As you guys can see, and as you guys may know, I love black. Black is my absolute favorite color. So this just goes with almost everything that I wear. It's super easy. It's lightweight. It just is what it is. <laughs> so this is certainly, um, I, I would be remiss if I did not mention this as one of my favorite 2023 luxury purchases. But like I said, technically it's a 2022 purchase, but we didn't do a video for that year. So I love this and I do not regret purchasing it. And I actually got this pre-love from Fashion File. So and the last category for my favorite luxury purchases of 2023 is going to be shoes. Now, I, this next item I'm going to show you guys is an archive piece that I've wanted forever, probably for at least the past, we'll say six, seven years maybe even longer than that. Never thought that I was gonna be able to secure this 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 shoe um, slash this boot, especially in this condition for this price because it's an archive piece. And it is none other than the Balenciaga, y'all, oh my God, I love this boot so much. <laughs> this is none other than the Balenciaga. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but I will have the word across the screen. This is, these are the Balenciaga Sienter boots, something like that. Anyway, I originally wanted these in black. These are like, basically these are like the Balenciaga ankle cutout boots. Archive with the hard bottom with two tone hardware. So you have silver buckles on the front and then you have gold and silver on the back. These are just everything, first of all. Like this shoe is just, I mean, come on now. <laughs> I mean, what do you want? What do you want? What do you do with this boot? First of all, I picked these up off of Vestair Collective. I shared this with y'all in a vlog a few months back. I was super happy to secure these. That was my first purchase from Best Air Collective. I got these for like $200, you guys. Maybe $230, I forget. Definitely was way under $300 and that was even way below retail. When I tell you these are in immaculate condition, now so far, I've only worn them one time. I've only had them for a few months. But look how great the condition is these are pre-owned these boots have to be more than 10 years probably like at least eight years old it looks like the original owner probably wore them one or two times like the fact that i was able to pick these up in this great of a condition it was just unheard of and i love this boot they even though i've only worn them one time they absolutely are a part of my favorites from 2023 and i will be killing these and i will be passing these down to my future daughter and or my nieces because I mean, what do you like? Look at this boot. These are, these are the statement. These are the moment. These are, listen, and I still want them in black. So if you see them in a size 39 and a half, 40, let your girl know. Healing in the shoe category, of course, I have to mention my other favorite, another pair of my favorite shoes for the uh, year of 2023. And that are, that is the Prada gold metallic loafers first of all i love this shoe i um, i love these shoes i think they're amazing they came in like black burgundy um silver metallic and then of course gold metallic now of course loafers had a whole entire moment for the year of 2023 and metallic had a moment for 2023 i'm a gold girl i love the silver metallic moment shout out to the girl beyonce renaissance obviously it was all about chrome all about silver but i'm a gold girl she's a gold member so i wanted these when i first saw these but i, I knew i wasn't about to pay retail i think they retail for like fourteen hundred dollars thirteen hundred dollars something like that tell me why i was able to pick these up for like 400 it was less than 500 dollars. i got like almost 70 percent off on this shoe so with that being said 
I have to include these as a part of my favorites from 2023. First of all, I love them. They are a statement. They are a moment. I have actually worn these twice during the holiday season. I actually wore these on Christmas evening. So I wore these out to dinner on Christmas night. And I also wore them like a couple of weeks before that to go out to like dinner with my girls. Love this shoe. And I low key want them in black as well. But I'm super glad that I got them in this gold color. And like I said, the fact that I got these for 70% off talk to me and wrapping up my favorite purchases for 2023 or luxury purchases technically this is not a luxury purchase these asic keanu gel 14s is, i think is what they are um but i have to mention these because i love this shoe i purchased these to go um specifically to wear to the formation i mean not the formation girl i'm um, just merging all of these Beyonce tours together. But I purchased these um, ASICs to wear to the Beyonce Renaissance concert in, uh, in August. Now, of course, if you know, if you're anything, if you're remotely into the sneaker community, then you know that the ASIC Keanu Gel 14s were super popular in 2023. I had purchased the pair months way before the concert in a different color, in a different color way, and they didn't fit, so I sent them back. Why did I do that? <laughs> because I had like a cream and silver pair, which would have been so neutral and go with everything. As you can see, these are like, um, they have like purple on them or whatever. Like, first of all, when I tell you this, sh so I wish I'd never sent back the original pair I got because these are so hard to come by. Like when I tell you, these are almost as hard to get as a freaking Birkin. <laughs> not that I'm in the market for a Birkin because that's not within my wheelhouse. Um, however, these shoes are very popular, very hard to come by, and I know they're kind of coming up, kind of, you know, busted on the camera, kind of, but they're in pretty good, they're in really good condition, but when I tell you this shoe is very stylish, now, according to my brother and my auntie, they said that they look like volleyball shoes, and they're correct, because I want to say the volleyball girls used to wear Asics when I was in high school, shout out to my cousin Carmen, <laughs> but, um, I love this shoe, very popular street style shoe for 2023, Super happy I was able to pick them up and I want like two more colorways so bad. But when I say they are so hard to come by and I'm not paying a penny above retail because that's just not what I do. But I love these. Super happy to have this colorway and um, they're super comfortable. And when I say I walked the entire inner city or down, I walked in, I walked damn near 20 miles in Paris in these shoes and my feet were just fine so they're comfortable they're cute they're stylish and i know they're not luxury but they are definitely a favorite purchase of 2023 so i had to mention them um so yeah so that essentially concludes my favorite 2023 luxury slash purchases overall um i would love to know if you guys have any of the items that i mentioned if you don't please comment down below and let me know what were some of your favorite purchases of 2023? Because I would love to hear about them um, because maybe I need to add some of your favorites to my 2023 wish list. I mean, my 2024 wish list. I can't believe we in 2024. It don't even sound right, but I'm blessed to be here. Um, if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. I so appreciate y'all. Happy New Year. Again, please don't forget to comment down below. Also like, share, that sort of thing, and subscribe. And I will see you guys and dolls in the next video.